Hello, my beautiful friends, and happy Tuesday. This is Deborah, and I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And while I'm at it, I also want to say a great big heartfelt thank you for all your beautiful comments on my fall tour last Friday. You all are just the best, and I love you for that. Thank you so much. In today's video, I'm sharing a Pottery Barn and Still Good Consignment Shop haul along with the new paint color I've chosen for the walls here at the condo. I told you all about a month ago that I was planning to start the painting project in October and it has begun. The new color is Soft Focus by Bear Paint from Home Depot and I just love it. The dark and depressing gray that's on the walls now just needs to hush and go away. It'll be so nice to have a fresh, neutral wall color that basically goes with anything, not to mention how it will certainly lighten things up around here. Here's a sneak peek of the new soft focus paint that you see a swatch of here on the gray walls in the living room and they're soon to be gone. We've already started in the bedroom and I can't tell you what a huge difference it's making. Now the light can bounce off the walls and create a whole new look and feel. Okay friends, let's have a look at my purchase from Still Good, which is an upscale consignment shop here in Houston. I purchased several items there in the past and love them. We purchased these two fabulous French demi lune consoles made by Habersham that will be used as large nightstands and they offered much needed storage. And now for the good stuff. I've been wanting new bedding for quite a while and I've taken my time in finding just the right pieces of bedding. And I, I really don't care for sets of bedding per se, but rather pieces from a few collections to achieve that collected over time look and very customized. And that's one of the things I'd like to chat about today, our bedrooms. I feel that your bedroom should be your private sanctuary, which provides comfort, beauty, and the safest and coziest feeling ever. And the reason being is your bedroom is the last thing you see before falling asleep at night and the first thing that you see in the morning when you awake. And let me just say, you don't have to break the bank or your budget when shopping for bedding. TJ Maxx, Ross, and home goods are wonderful places to pick up things at great prices as well as walmart and target even the thrift store it's just knowing how to put them all together that makes the difference in whether it's a typical bedding set or a more customized look and guys you can do it for less i promise you so when you're out there shopping for new bedding in your quest for romancing your home and bedroom Always choose what you love and makes you feel comfy and cozy. Now let's talk about the bedding from Pottery Barn that you see here. I chose pieces of the Belgian flax linen fringe ruffle collection. I chose the queen size duvet cover along with three matching Euro shams that are 26 inches by 26 inches to start with. As the video continues, you will see some other pieces that I purchased as my accent color for the bedroom, but I am also on the lookout for just the right floral print, something something to add to it, pull it all together and achieve a very customized look. And you all know I'll be making some beautiful pillows to go on the bed as well. Okay guys, featured here on the right side is one of the three 28 inch by 28 inch Euro pillows that I purchased to go inside the Euro shams. They are actually synthetic down pillows made by PillowFlex and I purchased them on Amazon. And I have to tell you that they're very full and feel amazing. So as time goes on, I'll let you know how they hold up. And now let's talk about the other Pottery Barn pieces that I purchased. On the right, as you see here, are the Velvet Lattice Stitch Queen Size Quilt and two matching standard size pillow shams in Loden Green. I absolutely love this color and the quilt and shams are so soft and cozy that it makes you want to just crawl into bed. So now you all can see why I'm in search of the perfect print accoutrement to go with all this bedding and tie it all together in the most beautiful way. 
And before I forget, here's a look at the bed skirt that I'm considering from Wayfair. It's a bit pricey, but I'm thinking it will finish the look that I'm going for. To give you an idea of what the bed looks like, here is my queen size bed after I purchased it five months ago when I moved in. It was a consignment store find from the Home Consignment Center in Conroe, Texas, where I also purchased my sofa that you saw in my home tour last week. The mattresses were purchased brand new from Costco. And last but not least, this is where the two new French Demi Lune consoles are going to be used as nightstands. All right, my lovelies, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please stay tuned for updates and progress on the painting project and the bedroom. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again on Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.